going to painting. Actually, I'm going to Carabas. But I need Starbucks first. First week, yay! So this is what I look like when I actually have makeup on and my hair is done a little bit. See, I actually look like a girl. It's amazing, isn't it? I look a little human now. So, oh, this is something else. I noticed this in my last vlog. I do this all the time. Don't know why. Don't know why I do it. So I'm heading to dinner with Colleen. We're going to Carabas. Yum. I'm so excited. Actually, what is that? Is that Red Robin? It's Red Robin. Yum. But I still love Carabas. I'm really excited. Even though I'm not terribly hungry, but I know I will be if I don't eat now. So, so something that you guys should know about me because you're going to see these in this vlogs a lot. Yes, I am on a weight loss journey, but somber music I will admit that I have an addiction and it is to Starbucks and I am fine with said addiction like I am totally good with it and I know so many people are like oh you can save so much money and you can just make it from home no no they put some magic like fairy dust in their drinks so I don't know what it is I don't I don't know I don't care I cannot make my iced chai tea latte as good as when they make it so good. So I'm going to take you guys through Starbucks. We're going to get something to drink and then I'm going to go about the rest of my birthday evening. <laughs> so this is Colleen. Hi. We're going to Starbucks because we're doing painting with a twist like I said earlier. But they closed. Rude. Isn't the Costco right down here? Or the, or the, <clears throat> is, did she say? There's something right there. No, she said it was Costco. Costco's down there. I think it. It's think further I'm, down. Yeah. And on the right. That I one. think, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm driving left, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Does that scare you? This it way. should. <laughs> do you but, do your L? Like I do that too. Yeah. yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, if you ever don't know your directions, hold up your fingers like this. Whatever makes the L is your left hand. Life hack. Life skills. <sighs> Starbucks. My addiction. I can't help it. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Thursday and I'm actually leaving work. Woohoo! Typically, this would be the day that I am off for the next two days, but gotta make up a little time, so I gotta come in tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm actually heading out of our parking garage right now and headed headed home. So I thought I'd chat a little bit and see how everything's going. Started doing a little bit more research into what weight loss program I actually want to want to do so I mentioned in uh, my previous sit-down video um, that I was you know kind of looking at some options and there was one that I looked at and it was actually doing a ketogenic diet now let me just go ahead and preface this I've sort of done this before or at least I tried it um, there's a weight loss system called Medi weight loss which uh, let me just go ahead and be open with you guys if I let me turn that on if I do a weight loss program or whatnot I'll I'll give you the ins and outs like I'll, I'll tell you if it was good or bad the one thing that I can say about many weight loss is that it did work it did work like it was on point but the problem is is that you have to go in once a week you got to get checked in there's medications there's all kinds of well not medications but there's like supplements all this stuff that you take and it just got to the point that it was just too darn expensive I couldn't do it there was no way to afford it in the end so I actually stopped doing that but it kind of is based in that ketogenic diet so just again from my research what I understand what ke basically eating keto I'm just gonna say keto is because um, ketogenic that's takes too, that takes too long to say I'm I'm too bougie to use the whole word there are actually people out there that are like that surprisingly um, so basically what a keto diet is, is essentially cutting carbs to the point of almost a serious cutting of carbs. And the carbs that you do get, they're like natural carbs from like vegetables and things like that. But you're basically eliminating all of your, um, let me turn this off, all of your uh, bad carbs. So pastas, breads, you know, the good food. Let me go ahead and, and let me go ahead and say this too. Unfortunately, on my drive home, whew, 
it's, it gives me some good lighting. It's like, let's light up the world. So half of my face is probably going to be not in the sun. The bottom half will probably be in the sun. My sincerest apologies for the way this looks. Side note, I've got to get some new tires this weekend. I took a couple of days off last week for my birthday. Um, whenever I did that first vlog, I had every I, I left work that last day with such good intentions for my vacation. I was going to clean out my closet. I was going to go get new tires on my car, get an oil change, do all kinds of stuff. Not a bit of it. Not a darn thing did I do. I was so lazy. And it was, it was actually my birthday. It was my birthday weekend. And I was just like, I don't want to. I just didn't want to do it. So I skipped that. Anyway, back to the keto thing. So essentially, it's you cutting out all of the good foods, you know, no pastas, no breads, um, no like artificial sweeteners, that stuff. Um, but there is definitely some things that I want to get a little bit more information on because I've, I've, from what I understand is, you know, if you, it's basically what it is with the keto diet, it's putting your body into ketosis, which is when your body has burned up all of like the bad carbs and all of that stuff and then and it's basically used all the fuel that comes from carbs and stuff like that so it start you it starts using fat for fuel instead of using carbs for full because you know how when you eat pasta you eat it and you feel good and all that rush and then you just kind of feel down so you want more of it so essentially what a keto diet is is that you're eliminating all of that so then your body is using its own fat for energy so it's burning fat which helps you lose weight and apparently well actually not apparently I've seen this thing in action it works it really works but there's only I mean there's a couple of downfalls that I've seen so far with it I mean every single diet program every single get healthy program see I even have to catch myself every single get healthy program has its ups and downs there's positives and negatives to everything probably one of the biggest negatives in my mind of the keto diet is that I have a relationship with bread and pasta and carbs I love them like it's bad <laughs> I do I love pasta why is there not I don't get it it's there's got to be a way, and, and I'm and I'm almost 100% sure that there is. Whoa, this may not last long with me. No sunglasses on. Nope, not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't like to, like, record myself with sunglasses on because I feel like I'm being rude. Because I feel like you say so much with your eyes anyway as a person. And when I have my sunglasses on, I feel like I can't look at you guys. So, I promise you I am glancing over every now and then to give you eye contact. That's something about me. I'm very big on eye contact and looking at somebody. Squirrel, I know. I'm gonna put a picture up of like a squirrel or Doug, the the dog from Up. Like every time that I go off on a tangent, I need to find something. Leave it down in the comments below. What should I flash up on the screen when I'm having like my uh get back on the road moments? Um, so essentially, like I said, I I love carbs and things like that. It's just something that I've always loved because it's even in like potatoes and stuff like that. I love potatoes. So, it's going to work. It's really going to work, but it's definitely a plan that you have to do long term. And I mean long term. But from what I understand, once you really do get into it, you feel better. So, I would definitely, I, I'm 1000% sure that I know I need to cut back on carbs. If nothing else, that's probably where a lot of this weight came from and the fact that I work at a job where I sit most of the time. I work a desk job, quote unquote. And let me just put it out there. I completely agree with the fact that, you know, you have to both exercise and eat well. For most of the people in my life that work out that I have talked to about this have told me that, you know, yes, they're both so important, but it really comes down to that eating habits that's a lot of it because you can be working out working out working out but if if what you're putting in your body is crap then you're not going to show any progress and a friend of mine said something to me once and I, I found it very interesting and I want to get myself to that point um he told me that he went on because years ago he was very 
very heavy set very heavy set guy but he did this did a whole program I don't think he did keto um, but he did a whole program and lost a ton of weight and now he he kind of eats bad but he works out all the time so I asked him one day and I'm like you know you don't really lose weight and all that stuff he said listen Ashley he said the only reason that I go to the gym as often as I do is because I love to eat I love to eat bad so I'm gonna work out extra just so that way I can eat the foods I like and I got to thinking about that it's probably not good for you but I like where his head's at so if I can get myself down to a healthy point where I feel good again then maybe I can go back to my pastas and stuff because it's really just pasta it's really just pasta and potatoes pasta and potatoes oh that's what I should call this channel pasta and potatoes pasta potatoes and Pilates I did Pilates or if there was another workout that I actually liked that's what I would call this channel because that's there squirrel there we go I'm actually looking for names for this channel I would I have said <laughs> I'm gonna start laughing I've said for years now I'll, I'm sure at some point I'll put the clip in um, that I always wanted to call this channel hashtag life skills still kind of on my radar that I want to call it that but it's um, I would love to find some some other channel name. I don't know. Again, leave it in the comments below. You guys never know. And also, while you guys are down there, hit the little, hit the subscribe button so that way I know you guys are liking what I'm doing. And give me a thumbs up. Let me know if, if this is kind of stuff that you like. If you guys kind of like me doing this research and, you know, showing you how I'm, I'm going through this stuff. I want to move. Can I move? I moved to California. There's a question. I've pondered that once or twice. That's not the first time I've ever made that statement. I'm going to move to California. I hear that it's like warm there, kind of like it is here, but it's not as humid. Somebody tell me, is it as humid out in California as it is here? Like, what's the difference in like weather? Because let me tell you, I do like it here. And yes, there's traffic there too, which annoys me, but the humidity is starting to go up like it, right now it feels fantastic but I know that we're like right on that cusp of it getting Florida hot Ugh. boom it's gonna happen but yeah like I was saying leave it in the comments below if if you like this kind of style and again subscribe and give me a give me a thumbs up and hit the little notification bell because again until I kind of get this channel going the way that I really want it to my upload schedule is going to be a little wonky at times and if you click the notification bell it'll send you a message that I have uploaded a video which is probably going to be on a lot of weekends there may be an evening or two depending on the night if I'm able to get a video edited or if I record one that that day I'll do it but I'm going to try to get onto a schedule um, there'll definitely be one on every weekend for sure I'd like to get up two videos a week don't hold me to that but that's my goal that's my goal in the next month to kind of get myself on a schedule where I'm uploading twice a week. So we'll see what happens. Um, I would definitely love to do more than two a week. Um, and once I really kind of get into this and get my get my food and figure out, you know, what eating plan I want to get on, um, that's when I'm really going to start working out. So once that happens, I feel like I'll be able to record a little bit more because I'll have a little bit more to record. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And again, that's something else too. I've seen so many programs where it's like you need to eat 12 to 1400 calories and that'll help you lose weight. You need to cut your carbs down significantly. That'll help you lose weight. You need to do this. You need to do that. How about the fact? Here's my tangent that's off topic but on how about the fact that we are so dang unhealthy in this country anyway seriously like we are so bad like it's it's ridiculous I mean I wonder I wonder what would happen and this is a good question I should put a poll out there a poll out there I don't have enough people watching these yet. Someday I'm going to put a poll out there because I, I want to know what everybody thinks. So this is my question of the day. Do you guys think that the overall weight of this country, W-E-I-G-H-T, like how much we weigh, 
you know, there's there's kind of a medium, of, um, a median of what everybody is. You know, it does go up and down. I think the average size person, I don't even want to, th there is no average size anyway, unfortunately. We, we won't get into the whole body issues and body types and all that my, my question is, you know, leave all the fast food restaurants the way that they are. Leave every fast food restaurant open in this country. Don't close any of them. But make all of them close their drive-throughs so that there's no drive-through fast food anymore. The fast food restaurants, every single one of these fast food restaurants can stay open, but they have to get rid of their drive-throughs. If that happened, would people be healthier in this country? Let me know. I can literally edit out any of this. Oh, really? Yeah, it's my you have a bloopers reel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to do this. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, she said it was. Should I like sit on something? <laughs> Why? If you get in this car one day and I have a booster seat in here. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. If you guys didn't know, we do painting a lot. <clears throat> a lot. <laughs> I love how you're just like repeating us. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I don't either. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I can do this with you. Yes. I'm going to be too much of this. Oh this is what this whole vlog is going to be. It's just us laughing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh god, that was so funny. <laughs> I'm about to snort. I did. I can't. I can't get through the drafter. I gotta pull up. Okay. Ooh. Do you want anything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to go in or through the drop? We can just go in. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go through the drive -thru? No, we're not gonna go through the drive. -thru. I can't. Oh, it's hard. I think we're gonna go. No. It's right there. No, it's. I think it's. I think we have to go around a little bit. Oh. I didn't. I just had to pull over for a second. Oh. oh my god, that was so funny. Oh, Jesus. That was the best thing that's ever happened. That was the we best. We should have walked around there. We're supposed to be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not driving your